afsnit, der hedder Clean Tech, er blevet tidens store buzzwords. Det kulminerer helt sikkert til december med klimatopmødet i København, men hvad skal der ske bagefter? Har vi et startups i Danmark, der også kan løse den her klimaudfordring i fremtiden? Og kan de her danske startups konkurrere med verdens bedste? Venticop TV har sat sig for at finde svaret på det spørgsmål, så de næste syv uger tager vi rundt i Danmark og interviewer startups, iværksættere, studerende, dem der arbejder med iværksætteri, for at finde ud af det. Vi går på jagt efter det bedste danske cleantech hold lige nu, og sender dem til Silicon Valley for at dyste mod resten af verden inden for cleantech. Men inden vi kommer så langt, så må vi hellere finde lidt ud af, hvad det er for noget af det her cleantech. Og øh, derfor tager vi en tur over sundet til Cleantech-konference i Stockholm, hvor vi kan tale med svenske, vi kan tale med internationale og måske endda nogle danske eksperter om, hvad det her Cleantech er for noget, hvad der er trends og hvad der ellers sker inden for det her marked. Så velkommen til Ventekop TV, og lad os tage en tur til Sverige. Svenske elektriske biler, det rykker. Så kommer vi til Stockholm til Stockholm Cleantech Venture Day 2009. Lad os gå ind og høre, hvad eksperterne siger. What was the most important numbers from the speech? I think the most important numbers are the 2009 uh, remain strong in terms of investment. Well, I think you can see clearly that the seed investments have gone down a little bit. Not a, not a lot of those actually happening right now. Uh, Other trends, I mean, definitely solar is a strong area. Uh, energy storage, uh, wind, all three are strong areas. Is it because there's no seed companies or no seed money? Uh, I think it's because there is uh, little seed money because of the turn down. So investors have focused their money on a few big investments, uh, actually. Uh, in terms of seed companies, there are a few, but I would say that the pipeline could be stronger in uh, right now. Yeah, I think uh, more commercially driven entrepreneurs are starting to find the area, but I still think uh, a lot of them are thinking about how to solve some little software application and turn a business idea out of that. In general, what you can say is that the good teams get the money. The good teams. So if it's, uh, if it's entrepreneurs doing an idea that have, a, for example, a track record of driven entrepreneurs that can show that clearly to the investors, they will get the money. I think that's actually more clear than any certain ideas getting money. I think good teams get money. Yeah, man, that's how it looks like, I think, actually. It's a broad picture that is something from big VCs that come in, there are big projects that are from small companies in Nørre Sundby, for that sake. Until they come in on all kinds of ways, and I think it's really for others. There are not come more or less in the last few years. But who comes with the idea? In the Cleantech field? Yeah. It's a long, for the most, there are some that come from someone with some form of technical background. Det er energi. Energi, energi, energibesparelse øh, og miljøåbnet. Helt sikkert. Og så er der selvfølgelig vandsiden. Men den skal vi jo nok få løst med vores lille. Ja. I've always thought that Denmark was ahead of most of the world when it came to clean technology because of their environmental policies and their consciousness about the environment. And we have seen a lot of good people in the wind business come to the US who all started out in Denmark. So, We look at it as a center for innovation, Denmark. I think the Europeans, the Scandinavians, are missing the boat in the U.S. Um, I think they need to be over there. I think uh, they should parallel their efforts with what they're doing in Denmark or Scandinavia with entering the U.S. market. I think there's a lot of opportunity, and for a lot of these companies, they have a first mover advantage, and they're missing that. So we're to Bay for Sverige. Det var rigtig interessant. Vi lærte en masse, talte med en masse. Blandt andet talte vi med Mike Santulu, som er founder af California Clean Tech Open, som holder finalen i Silicon Valley. Han nævnte energy efficiency og energy management som nogle af de rigtig interessante områder. Så lad os se, hvad vi kan finde af danske Clean Tech idéer. Vi går på jagt i næste uge, så følg med, når vi er tilbage i Danmark og leder efter Clean Tech der. Oh, yeah.